Hi, this is uh, Peter Kang from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today is April 29, 2015. Well, I received the 75 strawberry bare, bare root plants uh, last, almost end of the day. Um, so I, I pack, unpacked them and cleaned the, um, the roots and all and then um, I put in my A-frame uh, A uh, grow bed finally and then I had the unit on uh, and it was ba basically just a little eye, come, eye with the uh, uh, roots, that's all it was. Um, a lot of dirt, um, I had to wash it and here's how I did them. Um, I had the uh, five gallon bucket here and washed it and I did it inside the house. I had to you know, spread out the newspaper and all that. And, and some of the leaves or shoots, I don't know, they, they came off, but it's okay. Uh, I mean, some of them, you know, it was like, uh, none of them really was point where, you know, I lost a plant or anything, but yeah, I, uh, what I did was I cut it. I cut, you know, about, um, First uh, inch and a half, I, I leave it, and then rest of them I cut it. it. Was a lot of them had, you know, something like 60% of their roots being cut, um, and then uh, put it into two-inch netted pot. And so basically, what I did was I cut a cube of this furniture bedding, um, somewhat like. Two inch by two inch by, yeah, like that, a you know, little cube, and then I, cut, I split open in half, and then I, I stuck the uh, um, the paddings on the either side of the root, and some some root has been uh, you know um, sticking out of the netted pot, and some hasn't. Um, but yeah, basically that's what I did, and now the unit is oscillating back and forth. And believe it or not, overnight I see a shoots are actually growing out already. Um, that's kind of amazing because last night when I did it, it was basically uh, the the node and and the root. That was it. Um, but it's already springing out overnight. Um, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, uh, and then. Uh, Here's what I did this morning with these re the rest of them that I had. They sent 78, so I got three extra. And yeah, here, here they are. These are, uh, you know, I just put them on this morning uh, compared to these guys last night. Last night, these guys were like that. Um, maybe. Yeah, anyway, yeah, they, uh, seems like it's working so far. Um, yeah, a lot of these really had just the eye, you know, just a little, little uh, uh, sprout eye. And then uh, it's already, you know, now these leaves like this, they already grew out some and, you know, things like that. But yeah, I definitely see the difference already overnight. Um, I hope they accelerate their growth. And some of the plants at the each end here, this end on top and the, that end bottom, same thing with that other end. I'm constantly monitoring my sprayer, see where the water has been touching there. One way or another, splashing does occur and they don't get the full water like the one in the middle, but I wanna see what is my minimum and my maximum of water that's gonna you know, make the plant the optimal condition to begin with. So I'm, I'll be observing it very closely. You know, whether some plants get less water, some plants get more water, spray it onto the, uh, the root and see what happens. Yeah. So far, I mean, I see they're faster than bean sprout. I tell you, this is amazing because I'm the one who put it on and it didn't have this growth. That's kind of weird. Um, but you know, just take it as it comes, I guess, but yeah.
see is all these weren't like that and then uh, I have some other the leftovers over here with the container this morning and they're definitely different from what was in the bucket in the water and even them you know uh, in the water they did sprout uh, more than uh, what I when I received these uh, strawberry plants um, and then I have some more um, there's two one two kind of shaded spot so I don't know whether you could be able to see that but there and there and one more right there and then yeah I got three extra uh, out of 75 I got 78 so and I got one here and one there yeah this is what it what it looked like last night on all of my plants right about like that um, and these guys were been in the bucket of water till this morning and they they did um, some of them did uh, react pretty good with the water some of them just now starting to but on the A-frame I'm speechless already um, let's see what happens by a week pass I'm excited here now um, there's something new and low budgeted aeroponic type of concept uh, you know cheap as I can get by that's what I'm trying to do and my main concern about this unit pump is you know blockage blockage on the um, sprayer so I implement some bricks and some of these uh, uh, pre-filters around the intake of the pump and hopefully that'll uh, that'll lengthen the uh, blockage you know it'll slow down the blockage I hope and yeah I might have to change the size of the pump if uh, if not, you know, at the end of the uh, uh, grow bed, uh, plants are slowing down. If they're not doing well, then I'm going to have to, um, you know, uh, switch the pump where, you know, water will be optimized and everywhere. But for now, I think it's pretty good. I'm just going to leave it the way it is and see what happens. Ciao.